Right now, tensions are growing at Northwestern University and other colleges, campuses across the U.S. as pro-Palestinian rallies uh, continue. Let's take a look at the video right now. There is a look, uh, as you can see, from last night. That marked the fourth night of sleeping outside for many of these activists. And while their uh, coalition expands, so is friction with counter-protesters who support Israel. One student told CBS2 a poster held by a demonstrator made him feel uneasy. They painted a uh, Jewish star and then a huge X around it. And like as a Jewish student, like seeing that, that definitely does not make me comfortable. It doesn't make me feel like I'm like welcome anywhere around here. We're doing this first and foremost for the people of Gaza and Palestine. We are here today, as we have been for the last four days, to stand in solidarity. Organizers say they are negotiating with Northwestern University leadership until their demands are met. They say they aren't going anywhere. Evanston police say no arrests have been made since those protests began. And Brad, all of these protests are forcing schools to make lots of changes ahead of graduation season as they expand nationwide. Today is the last day of classes for students at Columbia University. That's where the movement began. The encampment there is still growing and students and administrators have been discussing their demands. Officials for UCLA have demonstrations yesterday, which led to violence between pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian groups. Their graduation isn't until June, but the University of Southern California already canceled its main ceremony, which was set for next week. Columbia students hope their school doesn't make the same decision. I'm really hoping that it stops before graduation. I'm graduating this semester. There's only one commencement. I am encouraged that the world is paying attention to what's happening. Meanwhile, faculty at Emory University in Atlanta are beginning a no-confidence vote for the school president today. It's over the police crackdown on protests at the school last week.